into some more witch wood. Ooh, I like that emote. Oh, that's cute. Um, yes, diving back into some more witch wood. Last we left off, we had uh, unfortunately orchestrated the demise of the fancy cat who everybody loved. R.I.P. Neon Cat. Mwah. Not Neon Cat. Neon Cat, but Neon Cat too, I guess. Um, and now we have a ram we need to deal with and... Oh, and a mister a treasonous first mate over on the uh, over on the coast who has taken over a ship. I can't remember how we're supposed to get rid of the fish guy. I know the ram. We're supposed to give him some colorful clothes, but I'm sure that when I jump back into it, we'll find that all out. So how about we just go ahead and do that? I'm also aware that we're kind of close to um. Well, there's, there's not heaps of achievements left in this game, so I'm not sure how far through it we are, but if we have... <laughs> it's monotony. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, if we manage to make decent time, we might get to the end of the game. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh. Okay. So, oh, that's right. We've got to go get wool from the people around here. Um, what is this? Oh, it's the dirt. Yeah, sure. Okay. So I gotta make, uh, let's, let's have a look here. Uh, we've done, oh wait, what's the rat? Oh, yeah, we had four that we needed to do. That's right. Um, okay. The fish. Craft a key to my heart. Cool. This we need going. Yeah, that's a lot of, like, fighting stuff. Um, collect Crypt Keeper Silk and Metamorphosis Elixir. Okay. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> oh, we can make one of these already. Nice. Great. How are we supposed to get... Hmm. I'm guessing we have to make a lot of sleeping stuff to be able to actually share the, uh, the other sheep. So... Oh, we need some water for that. Okay. Um... Sure. Regular water from maybe the plains. Yeah, though the fields will be pretty close to the regular water. I might just turn the. Oh, I think I turned the game volume up for um for Witcher. I'll just pop it back down again. Okay. Uh, this. Oh, it does. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> Okay, so now, nice, uh, I'm gonna make, <laughs> uh, cool, cool, okay, sweet, nice, I mean, I'll pop it up a little bit more, but, good, 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 I'm glad, um, is there a way to, you know what I probably should have done? is go and have a look at them before I made all that stuff. Uh, but we can do that now. Let's go to the graveyard. It's probably the fastest way to spot one of them. Because you're over here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, don't fight me, don't fight me, don't fight me. Where are you? No, not you. Is it up over this way? Yeah, there you are. What is your weakness? Hmm. Hey. 
<laughs> Who's there? Show yourself in the name of the ram! No need to be jumpy, my friend. I'm just a lonely old woman coming to grieve. Oh, I thought you were one of those nasty ghosts. Usually this place is pretty dull, but lately there's been nothing but angry spirits. He glances over his shoulder in a near panic. Oh, why'd the ram send me here? This place gives me the creeps. You scratch your cauldron in thought as the sheep jumps at a nearby patch of mist. Hmm. Looks like all I need to do is give this chap a good fright and his wool will be mine for the picking. Oh, boy. What do we need for a haunted mannequin? Buddy, you are in for a treat. Okay. Ghostly ectoplasm. I... Mm. Mm. That's right, so we need a soothing rune, and we don't know how to fight those yet. Okay. Oh, we do have one. Can we make these? Yes. Nice. Another one of these. Can we make another soothing rune? Yeah! Okay. Um, boop. Put that there. Hey, Samsara! How was your stream today? What were you up to? Oh. Spectral Tears! Okay, not what I was expecting, but hey, I'll take it. Um, oh, it's you that I have to deal with. What do I do about you? Oh, it's just Spirit Salts? Oh, damn, I kind of messed that up then. Oh, well. Weeping ghosts? You're a weeping ghost. Hey. Oh nice! Congrats! Good work. Thank you. An exorcism charm, huh? How the hell do I make an exorcism charm? Okay, and I need bat wings. I don't think we've seen bats anywhere yet. But I can hear them. Are they, are they down this way? He squints at the fading label on the back of the lantern. Let's see. Oh, right, that's. You want me to fix the lantern so I can go into that big house? Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> Where do we get back? I have no idea if I did or I didn't. What part's the DLC? <laughs> no, uh, so we stopped Celeste. Oh, whoa! <laughs> no, we haven't gotten to space yet. <laughs> I don't. We didn't get to the summit yet either. I think we finished Celeste after. Um, well, we we Celeste has been on hold since. Um, Oh, you can click water, that's right. Um, 
the point where we joined up with um, the bad version. I think that's where we we hit pause. Where we got we got double jump, <laughs> basically. Is that how you catch a bat here? Yeah. No, it wouldn't have been me. How do you catch bats? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got we got a decent way through, but there was a point where I was like, uh I kind of just want to play something chill this evening. <laughs> no, not yet. So we've still got some stuff to go back and do, which will be fun. At some point. Uh... Are they up? No, they can't be in here, because we're not allowed in here yet, right? Yeah. Hecky, are these bats? Are they in down here? Hmm. Suspicious. This is the big spider. Uh. Okay, hold on. Just gonna get a quick look see. Yep. You. Arachnoside. Wait, what? Okay, no, I can't actually interact with those. Alright. <laughs> I am glad. <laughs> You're more than welcome. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> one thing I do really want to play soon, though, is, um, a different horror game called Dredge. I'm really looking forward to It's just come out on, like, full release, and it's, it's like a horror fishing, like a spooky horror fishing game, um, that I'm very excited about playing. I've had it on my wish list for a hot minute. I'm keen to play. It's critical. Okay. So can I trick one of you into following me to the other one? Hello? Hi! Yeah, come this way, won't you? Hello? No? Okay. Oh, we gotta toss it. Gonna grab that. Yeah, hell yeah. Not gonna. Not gonna grab this one. Not interested. Okay, all right. Let's put this down here then. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay. That also doesn't give us. Yeah. This also doesn't. Wait, what? Is there another room through here? Oh. Oh boy. I mean, I'll take them, but not worth it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where the hell are you supposed to get bats' wings then? Huh. Well, we got part of the, we got the spider silk. That's good. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> Where the hell do you find bats? Your spirit salts, your suit. Yeah, you're the best. Hmm. What do bats like? <laughs> Where I think bats like hanging out in dark places. I know that much. Fruit? Hmm. Valid. Fruit is a good call. Hmm, okay. Let's go to the market for now. <laughs> oh my god, Amy. <laughs> oh, actually, let's go to the docks for now, because that's where we're walking. <laughs> Is this guy- Oh no, let's talk to you. Uh, hey, hey you! Know what stinks around here? Your breath? Maybe cut back on the crabgrass. Har har, very funny. I'm talking about these mismatched folk. Walking around like disgusting individuals. Don't they care about unity at all? Aren't they lonely? Don't they want to be part of something bigger? H how are they not full to the brim with the pure horror of existential dread? You leave the sheep to spiral deeper into his own metaphysical pit. <laughs> hmm... This fellow seems to be projecting some deep-seated issues. Perhaps if I give him a little push, he won't mind if I pilfer some of his wool. Bottled despair? Oh, buddy. You poor, poor thing. <laughs> mm. Oh, I can just make this already? Hell yeah. <clears throat> Sir. Oh, buddy. The sheep's eyes glaze over as he looks deep into his soul and sees only nothingness. Oh, God. Buddy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's the point of it all? I'm, I'm so alone. Poor fella. You'll feel better when the curse lifts, but it'll be too late for his wool. Snip, snip. Oh, dude. You collect a clump of wool and pat the sheep on his fluffy head. There, there, things aren't always so bad. Why don't you run off home to your flock? You're, you're right. Maybe I'm not so alone after all. The sheep wipes a dewy tear from his face and lopes off towards the village. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad at least you could um come to that realization that you're actually not alone. That's good. I feel less, slightly less bad. <laughs> Ah, everything wants to fight me. Okay. Yes, we want to go to the market. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, no. Where is the sheep? There you are. Hello, sir. Excuse me, madam, have you heard about the ram, the one true leader? Oh, truly, I don't have time for this. Just look at these clothing stalls around us. It's, it's revolting. So many patterns, they make my eyes water with rage. Oh, I'll show you some eye-watering patterns, all right. A good magic show what to set you spinning. Give him the old wrestle dazzle! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Prestidigitation deck. Okay. What do we got to do for a prestidigitation deck? Oh. Okay. Where's a skipper scale, a shiny lore, and a glitter bomb. Okay. Oh, we need to go get more soot sprites. Oh. Alright. 
We've got a bit more resource fitching, fitching on our hands. Um, we can make one of those. Great. That's a big help. Um, I need to find another one of those. Can we make one of the? Oh, we can. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna go back down here and do a little bit of fishing, maybe. Um, see if we can't. Uh, whoops. This and this. Probably. Yeah. Barnacle. Not quite what we need. Oh, that's right! You can get embalming salts here as well. So can I... M oh no, that's a different thing. It's unveiling powder. Okay. How do I fight you again? Oh, with a crab trap. Of course. Naturally. Oh, and how do I fight you? Also with a crab trap. Okay, hold up. Damn it. <laughs> Here we go. Good, good, good. Um, see, I don't want to fight the crab. I just want to fight the sh the shore skipper. Yeah. Thanks, buddy! Nice. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so we've got those two. We need to go and get some more. Oh, we just need soot sprites. Oh! We can probably find a few of those around. Just gotta find some fires. Nope, not that one, apparently. What do I do about you? Do we know? No, we don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, soot sprite. Where are the fireplaces? Nope, can't go that way. Nope. Fireplace, yes, but I can't use it. <laughs> That's a mimic. <laughs> we might need to, uh... Go back to the fields? Yeah, also a mimic. <laughs> yeah, there aren't a lot of fireplaces around, so let's go back to the... Back to the fields? I think so. I think the fields is the place that has the most um, campfires. Because there's a lot of, like, settlements around there. Uh, so I'm going to go this way. Over here. Good. Hi, sir. Um, oh, but not here, apparently. Interesting. Over here, and then down through here, and down through here. Oh, I should pick up some twigs though. Thank you. 
then I may be misremembering. Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. You. Oh, wait. Uh. <laughs> hey. Gotcha. Good, good, good. Uh, 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 uh. Gotcha! Nice. So then we can make one of these. And in turn, make this. Nice! Blah, 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 blah. Let's go! Um, and this is for the market. That guy. <clears throat> you, sir, you, sir, you. One moment. Oh. Oh, I have to use it like a dazzle. Ah! Holy crap. <laughs> the sheep goes cross-eyed at the blinding display of pure magical speculation as you shuffle the deck of enchanted cards. Ah, it's so so ah, I can't see. That's right. Keep your eyes on the pretty colors while I share you bold. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, thank you. Before the sheep can recover his eyesight, you snip a healthy patch of wool from his backside. Ah! I can still see the colours even when I close my eyes. Out of my way. I can't preach like this. I've got to get back to the flock. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. So that's two out of three. Where the fuck do we find the friggin bats hmm Bat wings. You can just only find them in the grave. Maybe they're just a thing that you have to dig up? That would be strange, but it's not impossible that that's the case. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Please leave me be. I meant no offense. down this way. That's right. I would actually love some help on bat wings, Amy. That'd be great. Is it is it a thing you have to dig up or can we find them someplace? Oh. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, great. Thank you. So we were on the right train of thought. We were just <clears throat> using the wrong trap. So we need this one. And now we wait. There we go. Oh, buddy. Thank you for your sacrifice. Um... Okay. Uh, so for this, and we need to make one of these. God damn it. <laughs> oh, why I order? We need to get a whole bunch of sticks just to, like, have them 
so that we don't have to keep going backwards and forwards quite so much. So I'm gonna go to the forest, I think, and go grab a bunch of sticks. <laughs> and also supplies for more of that um unveiling powder. Nope, not this one. Forest. This one. Where did my drink go? There it is. Okay. Just gotta do a little bit of replenishing of resources. Yeah, thank you. Um, and if we can find any fires. Oh, you're a dryad. Sorry! can find any fires along the way that'd be great uh, boop, boop. oh they're still going strong <laughs> That's good. I'm happy for them. I'm glad they could work things out. should work. That should be enough for now. <clears throat> so then I can make... Yeah! We can make three of these. Perfect. And then we can make this. Yes! Okay. And then we can... So we need to f get this and ghostly ect okay so the ectoplasm i think we have to get from the oh we can get a bunch of soot sprites here um the ectoplasm i think we have to get from the ghosts that we kill with the um with the exorcism charm i'm pretty sure that's the order of operations where are you? There you are. Thank you! <laughs> Alright. Back to the graveyard. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I like how the subtitles capitalized order of operations as if it's like... <laughs> Like a government branch. <laughs> okay, where you at, stag headed ghost? Come here. Actually, is there some of them? Oh no, you're the. S you need the salts. You're the sad in this one. Where are you? Where are you? Back down this way. <laughs> Thank you. What is your deal? Still don't know that one. Okay, we'll grab this. Thank you. Okay, and then we want the... Make some of these. Oh, shit. Damn. Um, okay. Let's go to the swamp real quick. Doing another quick round trip everywhere. Good, good, good. Okay. 
We're going to go here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that one. Oh, that's right. We got to trap those. Uh, no, thank you. I know we're out of these as well, so we might as well pick some up while we're here. Um, yep. Yep. This way. Could get two mute eyes while I'm here. Yeah, might as well. God, I'm already out of friggin' trees again. Oi, go get it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Beautiful. Greatest love story ever told, those two. Anything else? Yeah! Nice. Okay, now we can head back, and we need to go to, oop, sorry goblin sir, We need to go back to the graveyard to go and get one of the skull ghosts so that we have all the stuff to make the scary charm. Hi, hello, it's me, I'm back. Okay. Um. This. Yeah. One of these. Nice. Okay. Uh, we can swap those out. Where's a good isolated? There you are. <laughs> Give me your head. Okay. And then we need this. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, old buddy, old pal, what's up? Huh? Horrify. <laughs> oh, what an action. <clears throat> the skittish sheep nearly jumps out of his pelt in horror. <laughs> Now's my chance to share his wool before he comes back to his senses. Yup. Boop, boop, boop. You quickly snip a handful of wool from his quaking body. Forget this, I don't care how angry the ram gets, I'm going back to the flock. Good idea, man. And also just, you know, evaluate your life choices. <laughs> okay, so now we go back to the market or back to the village? Um, oh, we can't access the map anymore. I think it might just be the village is where the gargoyle is. Because we have to go and get this, the snazzy gargoyle to give us a ride back to the black sheep. You know. 
regular words to say. Yeah, this guy. Uh huh. Did you need a lift to the secret grove? Let's go. Hey, love. How you doing? I'm excited to spoon for you. Oh, this bit. I've got plenty of fleece here, but if you have something special in mind, just put it by the spinning wheel. I do indeed. The three lots of wool taken from the ram's flock are most eager to please any hand that guides them. A metamorphosis elixir will really make these garments pop. <laughs> and crypt crawler silk. Crypt crawlers walk the line between the mundane and the supernatural, and their silk holds the key to that boundary. With all the goods at hand, you wave the black sheep over and the spinning we uh, to the spinning wheel to get started. A bit stiffer than I'm used to, but I can work with this. She rolls up her sleeves and prepares the bobbin. As the black sheep manages the wheel, you assist by weaving your own magic into the fibers as you feed them through the device. Dazzling colors of every hue shoot out of the whirling wheel, sending sparks dancing into the underbrush. Soon, a large ball of rainbow-tinted yarn is wound together. Wow, we didn't even have to use any dye. I could use your help anytime. She gathers up the yarn and admires it before handing it to you. Ooh, the, mesmeri ugh, the mesmerizing colors seem to dance across threads. My thanks to you. I couldn't have done it without your skills at the wheel. Say, you should think about returning to the village soon. Your little doggy friend was quite worried about you last time I saw him. Oh my gosh, I was in such a panic I completely forgot about him. But what about the ram and his flock? I'm a goner if I go back there. You leave that to me. Yes. Let's fuck him up! Let's go! Wait, is he in the village or is he in the market? He's in the village. Let's go! Oi, dickhead! <laughs> Color is the path to division, but and division is the bedfellow of damnation. Ah. You twist a length of your multicolored thread into a makeshift lasso. The shifting colors make the thread appear to be alive. What nonsense! I just loop my magic yarn around each of these sheep and show them the world is more than black and white. On the Fram's flock. Oh! Oh, cool. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Look at him go! <laughs> Stopping in the middle of his sermon, the Ram notices that his flock is no longer paying attention to him. Good. Gayify the sheep! <laughs> yes! <laughs> The flock turns away from the ram's ravings, fully enraptured by the colourful thread. Hey, what are you fools doing? Is this the black sheep's work? Wow, we just assumed it was ugly because the ram said so. No, you idiots, it's wrong. Have you forgotten everything I've taught you? <clears throat> <laughs> Look at all these wild colours. I never knew wool could be so neat. Stop looking at the colours. Amongst the commotion, the voice of the black sheep pipes up. Oh, um, thank you. I'm so glad that you all appreciate my handiwork. Actually, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'll be right back. I have my own special garment that was made by the sheep. One moment. It feels appropriate. Oh. This is much better. This is much more sheep appropriate. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Much more in line with the the love of the colorful black sheep. Hell yeah. Woo! Where were we? <laughs> yes! Hell yeah. All those of you at home watching, get your rainbow coat, get your rainbow blankie coats on. <laughs> uh, yes. Are you kidding? This is the most amazing wool wool we've ever seen. Where can we get some more? <laughs> Stop! Listen to me. <laughs> oh wow! Look at all the all these customers. We need to get that shop of yours up and running again. You're right. Oh my, this is all so overwhelming. Looks like it's time to roll up my sleeves and get back to work. Does that mean you'll reopen your wool shop? We'll help fix it up again if it means we can get more of these fantabulous colours. <laughs> I imagine him melting like the wizard, <laughs> Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> the ram swings his bronze bell harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebration of his flock. Yo! <laughs> Bye! Oh my! What in the dickens happened? I guess he clanged that awful bell of his just a little too hard. Gave his own head a proper ringing till it couldn't take any more. He glanced over to the ram's empty soapbox. A fitting end, I suppose. A shepherd is nothing without his flock. Yeah! You pick up the bell, but not a sound emanates from it. Something is muffled. You turn it over to look inside and find that the metal clangor is covered in a familiar bristly white wool. The soul of the ram. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it! Nice. <laughs> All the rainbows. Oh, look at them! Look at how happy they are! Hell yeah! Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, now... Oh, we still have more stuff to do. What are we supposed to do to deal with the... Fish? Key to my heart. I need this. So I need to get another Dryad heart, which means I'm gonna need another Cinder Box. And... Another one of these, which means I'm gonna have to kill another fish. <laughs> um, and... What was the other thing? A skeleton key. Which means I need to kill another one of them. Okay, alright. Let's, uh, let's head back to the graveyard real quick. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> Love that. Love that for them. <laughs> okay. Um the gay sheep. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> if that's what they talk about when they're complaining about sheeple, then sign me up. <laughs> One there. One here. And now watch. Hey! Hey! Did they leave anything else behind? No. Nope. Okay. I think I already opened this chest. No, I didn't! Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, we need to get some stuff to also talk to the... To be able to get the rat out of that other house. Oh, here you go. The phantom goo feels as if it's attempting to pull you down beneath the soil. Ugh. Um. Okay, so we need another bat wing. And we also need more... Arachnicide? We need another one of these, which we can make. Uh, okay, but we need more. Oh, no, we're good. 
Nice! Let's go do that too then. Fair enough. Go do the things that keep you feeling good. So we want to use the arachnoside. Just going to use it down here again because it's the, the easiest one to, to catch, I think. Eat it. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Okay, cool. So actually, no, we do need another, okay, hold on, let me remind myself of what we need for this. Okay, yeah, we need another skull, um, but I can make another one of these, because we need more bat wings as well. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Then I can also make some more salts, some spirit salts, to get this guy. Hey, thank you. Um, so that I can make a skeleton key. Skeleton key. Yeah. Great. Got the skeleton key. We need to go kill a fish. <laughs> uh, but we also need to give the gravekeeper some more stuff. Here you go, sir. The webbed wings fla still flap of their own accord. Oh no. <laughs> and crypt crawler silk. The crypt crawler silk is thick and smells oddly of lilac. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I seem to have misplaced my reading glasses, so maybe you better prepare the mixture. You hit off the what? You read off the well. Oh, the well-worn instructions printed on the lantern. They're horridly confusing and riddled with spelling mistakes. How did these contraptions ever make it to market in the first place? You better stand back. If I do this wrong, things might get a little explodey. You grind together the gruesome ingredients into a waxy paste before rendering the whole mixture down over the gravekeeper's cooking fire. The odour coming from the wet bubbling soup makes the hairs on your nose prickle, but you power through it and oh, but you power through it and pour the ghastly oil into the lantern with a rusty funnel. <laughs> that also sounds terrible. <gasps> Lilac and gooseberries, you're so right, Sensar. Oh. <laughs> Yennefer's been a spider this whole time! <laughs> the Gravekeeper raises one caterpillar-like eyebrow at you. Mm. No, kaboom! Perfect! Give her a good shake! You swish the oil around inside the lamp and light the wick. Slowly, a bluish, unearthly glow fills the space around you. The light makes your teeth itch when you look directly at it. Ah, take a look at that, fresh as a daisy. Just wave it around should any wayward ghoulies try to try to accost you. It should clear the way to that miserable banshee, if maybe you could ask her what all the fuss is about. Hell yeah! Nice, 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 nice! Let's go! Oh, maybe this is the thing that is like... Um, supposed to work against the hand things. Is that what that is? Yeah, that makes more sense. Boop. Leave me be. Oh, hi, Banshee. We need to talk. Hello. Oh, you look so cool. Come to taunt me as well! Taunt you? I come to find why you're throwing such a tantrum. You raise the dead with your wailing. 
The wraith's jaw drops to her collarbone, howling as her ghostly arms reach for you. You quickly raise the ghost lamp high, bathing the room in cold light. The spirit recoils away, covering her eyes with translucent hands. Yeah, it burns! Why do you torment me so? <laughs> oh, quit being so dramatic. Now tell me what's got you up so upset. It's gone! That sneak, that thieving plague ridden rodent stole it! What's gone? Who stole it? My family's crypt was defiled by that wretched rat! My most precious treasure! My brooch is gone! Can you all understand this if there weren't <laughs> subtitles? <laughs> no. Uh, I will not rest until I have it back! Ah, the rat stole the brooch from your crypt. That's enough to make anyone upset. Yes, it was stolen, ripped from my breast. Where has it gone? Well, if the rat pilfered it off your remains, maybe he left behind a clue as to where he ran off to. But that crypt is jammed, jammed full of caskets. How will I know which box is yours? What was your name? <laughs> I do not remember! Who was I? Everything is clouded by my suffering! Well, this was your house, right? There must be some relics in here that can point me in the right direction. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. I'll get to the bottom of this, then you can stop all of this howling. <laughs> but also, please never stop, because you are fantastic. <laughs> Will this make you go away as well or no? No. Ooh, this heavy box seems like it might contain important family documents, but it's locked tight. Hmm. I doubt the key is anywhere around here. I better just make my own. Skeleton key? I think so. Hehehe. <laughs> You crack open the chest to find a collection of moldy papers and bills, but a heavy book at the bottom looks promising. In the cracked leather-bound tome, you browse through long-forgotten obituaries, and we mourn her death, the third of her siblings to pass. Much beloved, she will long to be she will long be remembered for her beautiful singing voice and tireless pursuit of justice. That tracks. <laughs> Sounds like our banshee! <laughs> the third to die. That will mean her casket will be the third one in her row. Okay. Sure. Um, the third one in her row. Okay. <clears throat> oh, can I get this now? Yeah! Nice! Oh, that's nothing. Back with foods. Good, good, good. Um, is this something I can open? No. Okay. The third one in her row. Okay. Is the crypt? Mm, the crypt must be the crypt that we've been going in and out of, right? I'm guessing that's the right one. Oh. I'm glad that we're gonna go and uh, help the Banshee with things because I cannot do that voice for a very long time. <laughs> Although to be fair, I probably could, it's just that I'm trying to not actually yell into the microphone. <laughs> partially for headphone listeners and also partially so my neighbours don't think I'm dying. <laughs> Okay, so third in the row. This one? No. This one. No. Oh, 
Oh, hello, sorry. This way? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. so we needed to find more stuff. My bad! Please don't let this kill me! Do 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 do! Ah! Uh... Oopsie daisy. I do like that though. I like that a game doesn't let you just brute force your way through it. I appreciate that. Back to the mansion. <laughs> so we gotta find the family crest, I think. Hmm. What did it say? Family crest and position in the family. Oh, is this the family crest? Yeah. This embossed shield looks like it might be a coat of arms, but the face is so badly encrusted with patina you can't quite make out what it is. Hmm. A good cleaning ought to get the spick and look and spick and span. Ooh, purification water. That's cool. What's that? More ghost ectoplasm. Okay, alright. Fine game, you don't want to make this easy for me, I get it. And which one do you want to position in the family? Oh, this. Here we go. This corroded picture frame is almost completely deteriorated. You can barely make out ghostly figures sitting together on the rotten canvas. A shame. Time has almost forgotten this family. Maybe I can restore just this little piece of them. Oh, with what? How would one do that? Um... <laughs> um... <laughs> Purification water. Nope. Magic paste? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's magic paste. Purely because it looks like a paintbrush, is what I'm thinking. Does the journal say? Good question. Good question. Oh, a restorative idol. Which is this one, right? Okay. We also need this. Which means we need to go and get pumpkin jack bones again. Alright, alright, alright. So, we need pumpkin jack bones, we need more ghost ectoplasm, which means we need more bat wings, which means we need more of these, which means we need to go back and get. Okay. Oh boy. So we need to go to the swamp. I mean, the swamp and the plains, but namely the swamp. The shopping list grows. <laughs> Very true. Um, but I think there's also something we can get for the fish in the plains. 
What are we trying to do with the fish? Oh, we need dryad hearts, that's right. So we have to go to the forest anyways. Um. Hmm. Which way does this... I'm gonna go to the swamp first. Because I think the swamp leads down to the forest and that'll lead down to the plain. I think. <laughs> I think I'm remembering that correctly. Um... Now I need to get dragonfly wings, right? That's what I'm. That's what I need. No, that's the pumpkin jack bones. Where's? Nope. This. Okay, and and some moo juice. Those are things I can do. Uh, yep. But I need to get thistles. Okay. And around and around it goes. <laughs> ah, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I'm just a little witch lady. Please don't hit me. Oh yeah, you're still here too. What's up with that? <laughs> Why are you a thing? Still don't know. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Now we can make this. Put that there for now. Boop, boop, boop. Bah. Oh no! Don't go fight me. Please don't fight me. Yay! Okay, so we've got that, which we can use to make, nope, keep clicking on the wrong one, uh, are we using it to make this? Right, we still need some milk, that's fine. So let's go on a little bit of a longer walk down and pick up some other odds and ends because we are going to need a lot of these because we've got to catch ourselves a lot of bats. We don't have to dilly dally too much. We can just make more or less a straight path to the exit. Da -da -dum -dum. Da -da 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 -dum -dum. Hey, lovely people! So glad you're happy. Bye. Take that. Okay, and this is going, yeah, so this is going back to the forest path. Excellent. Okay, and now that we're here, I want this. Ow! Worth it. <laughs> You're the dryad. Um, so now we need this. Got it. Nice. That is a terrible thing to happen to someone, but I got what I came here for. <laughs> um, yeah, and I might as well pick up some extra branches while we're here. down to the woods um okay let's because we also get to make oh no we nearly get to make this we still need a fish head that's fine we can go back and do that um 
Can we make one of these? Oh, we have one. Awesome. Don't need to worry about that then. Let's just keep moving. Let's keep rolling on along. Build wood path. Yeah. So we do need pumpkin jack bones, but we also need... Oh, wait. I've been looking at the wrong thing, haven't I? Oops. What do we actually need? Because we need to make this. Oh, which is the pumpkin jack bones. Okay, sick. Nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to grab some milk. We can. Uh, hey. Thank you. Uh. Any more dirt? Yeah. And now I can make another jar. I can go get some more milk. Excellent. Hi. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So we got all those. Now we need to head back this way. Oh, beautiful baby cabbage. Back this way. Over to the pumpkin jacks. These guys. <laughs> Suck it. Extremely funny. <laughs> okay. We got that. Hell yeah. Right from here. Okay, cool. And then we can head back up this way, complete the circuit, go back to the graveyard. Okay, so let's double check that we've got everything we actually need. We need to make a... Oh, where is it? This. Nice. And then we can make... Can we make this? Oh yeah, we can make heaps of these. Excellent. And make this. Nice. So that's what we needed for that. And then the other one is the purification water. Which we need more water for. Um, I don't think we've gotten enough dirt to gather that much water yet. Um, no, not really. Well, you probably could have if I hadn't spent all my dirt milking a cow, but oh well. <laughs> Listen, I had other priorities. <laughs> we can do part of this, which is good. What was the... Oh, no, we do kind of need that as well. Drat. Hmm... Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we can go back a bit. Oh, there's loads of dirt in the cemetery. What am I talking about? We can do it that way. Sorry, the graveyard. They're different things. Excellent. Nope, not you.
also got to catch more bats. If I'm remembering correctly. Da -da -da. Do you actually get water from... Yeah, this one you do get water from. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, great. Nice. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Got that. Now we just need to get our ooze, which we need to get more bats for, which means we need to make more of these. That'll work. <laughs> Boop. Dog, don't touch that. It's not for you. Purely for bats. got two. Nice. So now we can make this. Great. I might also make another bundle of sticks just while we're making stuff. Okay. Creepy stag-headed ghost, where you at? Hit me up, please. There you are. Bye! <laughs> Great. Now, we can make some purification water. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think that's everything we need. Let me double check. Craft purification water, craft restoration item. Hell yeah! Let's go! Back to the mansion! <laughs> crafting, crafting, crafting. <laughs> also, where is the rat? I don't think we've seen it yet. Curious. Get out of my way. Oh, we need to go here. Oh, I should have gone to the one downstairs first. Whoops! this. Nice! Color and light flood back into the faded painting to reveal a content looking family. You recognize one of the younger girls by her shock of hair and brooch on her chest. That must be our wailing wraith, a granddaughter by the looks of it, so she must be on the lower tiers of the crypt. Okay. And this one. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Clean. Nice. You clean away the grit and grime to reveal a proud lion staring back at you. This crest looks like it matches one of the burial rooms in the crypt. It sure does. I think that's everything I need to know. The banshee's body is buried under the crest of the lion. She's a great, she's a granddaughter, so she'll be on the bottom row, and she's the third one to pass away. Let's go! Slightly weirdly long loading screen, but we're good! <laughs> okay. Oh, you're back! Found out anything about our predicament? It seems like you've got a grave robber on the loose. The banshee had a brooch stolen from her family crypt. A grave robber? Oh damn, these despicable degenerates. With the incense and with the increase in ghosts, I haven't been able to do my nightly patrols. I need to get to the crypt and find her body. The thief might have left something behind. Well, good luck. That place is more spiders than I have liver spots. So you'll understand if I stay behind. Yeah, sure. What if that's the rat? <laughs> Hiding as a dog. <laughs> uh, 
I need to make one of these. God damn it. <laughs> well, we'll just have to be... Yeah, I did consider the Gravekeeper, maybe. Could be. He stole the brooch. Very well could have. <laughs> Let's get him! <laughs> So we want to go all the way over. Oh, hello. Bye. Yep. Ah. This one. Wait, what? It's the lion. That's... This is the lion. Or is this the bear? No, this is the lion. This one? Aha! You dig your nails underneath the loose plaque and begin to pull. The rusty bolts pop off the corners of the end cap as the whole thing rips off the mossy wall. You toss away the grave corner and peer inside the dark hollow, holding your lamp aloft. Dozens of small beady eyes blink back at you. RATS! You quickly jump aside as a torrent of vermin come pouring out from the coffin. Filthy little biters come to pill for more graves? Squeaking and hissing, they flow like some lumpy liquid rushing back towards the entrance. You get the feeling that these rats are far more organized than any normal pest. Where are you off to, little devils? Running back to your master, perhaps? Oh, that's so gross. That's so incredibly gross. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> No, thank you. Hurry your butts up. Ugh, disgusting. Ugh. Truly unacceptable. Where is he? He is! <gasps> it is gonna be one of them, isn't it? You track the swarm of rats into thorny bramble, their bodies whirling in a verm verminous mass. This does not, however, seem to be their permanent nest. If you could only flush them out, perhaps they would flee to their true source. A good spark ought to set this dry tinder alight. Can't hide from me, beasts. God damn it. <laughs> do I need another tinderbox? Yeah, tinderbox. Okay. We could do that. Oh, fuck. No, we can't. No! <laughs> okay, we gotta go back to... I'm gonna go back to the forest, because that's the easiest way I know uh, where to find these uh, little, little sneaky little lightning bugs. They're right up here. Wait, weren't they? Maybe they were down. There we go. Let's get him. Huh. Thank you. Get over here. <laughs> hey. None of that. There we go. <laughs> Why can't she buy matches? <laughs> Extremely valid. Why am I carrying around all these hot coals if I can't just throw them on a big dead tree? <laughs> okay. Back we go. And we're gonna make a cinder box. Great. Good. 
The brush is quickly subsumed in tongues of flame, scattering the, the rats beneath. Their frenzied rout is not without order, though. In a wave of fur and claws, they scramble through the graveyard towards their next hiding place. No, don't be a next hiding place. Just show me where your boss is. I swear. What, in here? A ho the horde of rats pour between the bars of this crumbling mausoleum, swirling in a gyre just out of reach. Once more, they have found temporary refuge. Such a closed-in space seems ripe for a good smoking. They won't be able to hold their breath for long. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get it now, right? <laughs> the smoke emitting from the pellet is thick and concentrated. Even though they are below the worst of it, the choking fumes are enough to flush the rats out. Once more, they rush forth, this time fleeing towards the shadow of the ruined church. Up this way. Yep. The flood of rats squeeze through the bars of a great brass gate and disappear into the ruins of a squat abandoned church. Heavy chain binds up the gate and the rusted padlock is well beyond accepting any sort of key. Something more potent will be needed to open it. Ooh, acidic unguent. Love me a good unguent. Uh, okay, we can get weird water from the well outside the mansion. We don't have to make that. Oh, but we do have to go back to the swamp for that. Okay. So many- we need so many thistles, I swear. Boop. Um, no. Might as well pick up some other stuff while we're here. Looking for thistles. Nope. There you go. Bye. <laughs> I am not sticking around. Right. Hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We can actually just do a nice tight loop and go back up here. Here we go. Back we go. Uh da -da. To the cemetery, yes. Do I have enough to make another jar? I don't. Let's do some digging. <laughs> get some weird water. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay. Potion of Blight. Yes, God, I'm glad that I killed that newt when I had the chance. <laughs> Boom! We got it. Okay. Back we go! 
Dissolve. Yeah. The iron of the padlock wheezes in protest as it melts away into the blackened goo. Oh, into blackened goo. The chain falls away and you push open the gate to the churchyard beyond. Woo! Oh my goodness. Now I will go inside. I just have to search for hidden treasures. You know me. You know this about me. Okay, nothing here. Let's go! Where's the stinking rat? Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, I do not like it. Where is the stinking rat? You attempt to pick up the candlestick, but find it attached to some mechanism inside the altar. A latch flips and you watch a stack of boxes slide aside to reveal a hidden crack in the wall. Yo! That was accidental. Nice. <laughs> Here's my treasure. And there's more down here. Yes! Thank you. Alright. Nope, just full of rats. Okay, into the secret passageway we go. Oh. Wait, is this the other side of... No, it couldn't be the other side of the forest one, right? That would not make sense. I... Whoa, there's a lot of gold. Hello, sir. I'll be right with you. I do just want to see if I can open any of these boxes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Whoa, dude. The fuck is up? Hey! Who in the blazes are you? Who let you in, huh? I let myself in. You should really hide your secret lair a bit better. Though I must admit, this is quite the collection you've acquired here. Why? What's it to you? You looking to make a trade? We got whatever you need, sister, if you can pay the price, that is. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for an old antique brooch, and I heard you're the one to talk to. Yeah, we got plenty of brooches. Any of these beauties catch your eye? The vermin flips open his cloak and you see it's lined with rows and rows of jewellery. You lean in for a closer look. The items all look like priceless family heirlooms, but you can't pick out the one belonging to the Banshee. Hmm, not sure. I'll need to confer with my friends as to which is the right one. The rat narrows his eyes suspiciously and hides his wares back inside his cloak. And just who's this friend of yours? Why, she's the original owner, of course. She would very much like her property returned to her. No deal! We don't make trades with the dead! But you're happy enough to steal from them? Let me just go tell my friend where your little hideout is. I'm sure she'll be more persuasive than myself. Fool! This place is sacred ground. No bad spirits can enter here. Now get out before we pick you clean. All right, all right. No need to be crass. Huh. That can't be right. Although technically she's not a bad spirit. Like... You stole from her. <laughs> no spirits may cross the threshold, eh? Well, then I'll just have to invite one in myself. You eye the flat surface of the barren altar. It looks like the perfect place to conduct a seance. Yo! Let's make a spirit board! <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, we can make that! Nice! Okay. God fucking damn it, these fucking pumpkin jack bones, I swear to god. <laughs> we should really just go kill all the pumpkin jacks, frankly. Frankly, that's what I should be doing. Um. Okay, let's 
So we need to make some more of these. Which means we need more of those, which means we have to head back to the swamp again. Great. Okay. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Um, but we also need the smoking pellet. Which is the frog one. Which whoa! <laughs> um, which we can get in the swamp. I think they're just the net to catch the frogs in the swamp. I'm pretty sure. Okay. No. Um, where's the best place gonna be? It's probably gonna be over this way. Let's go up here to where there's a bunch of frogs. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank you. Gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Right now. <laughs> This is the thing, right? Every time we're here, I'm like, I should just do a big run of... Oh, hey, Jevin! I'm like, I should just do a big run of grabbing all the resources while I'm here. But then I'm also like, that'll be super boring. <laughs> it's just a solid 20 minutes of me going through and grabbing resources. That sounds real dull. <laughs> I feel like it's better to split it up with actual progression. <laughs> and boom, boom. Okay. So we can make these now? Yes. Cool. And I'm not going to use it here. I'm going to go down to this other spot. And around this way. Although I am going to pick these up as well. Because they're useful. I want to go over to this place over here. Say hello to the lovely married couple, and then... <laughs> Honestly, fair, Jevin. <laughs> Come on. Oh! Got a couple of them. Oh, don't hit me. Get away, get away. Okay. Well, we got a couple of them. That'll work. So now we can... No, that leads back to the forest. We don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Oh, actually, I might real quick grab some more newt eyes while I'm here. Um, uh, boop. Come grab that. Sometimes it do be like that. Sometimes you just gotta chill. That's all your body wants to do. Ah! I did not mean to put that down. Eh. Let me use this. Ow! Rude. Okay. 
It's alright, I got healing potions. We should be good. There we go. Back to the fields! Hell yeah! That's awesome! In is it an update for anything in particular? Like, a particular aspect of the game? Uh, we gotta make a bunch of these. Great, so we can make this. And actually, I'm just gonna make two of these because we might as well. Okay, then we're going back this way. Uh, Big old gameplay update. Hell yeah, that's awesome! Very cool. Okay, let's swap our lantern out for this. Come on, buddy. Yep, you got to die. Thank you. And there's another one over here. I see you. <laughs> okay. Now we're good to go. Okay. Great. Let's go back to the graveyard. Um, or actually, we can make the stuff that we need now just in case um why are those not there we go inventory management <laughs> um okay so we needed to make one of these for our spirit board hell yeah now we can make a spirit board yes all right then let's go Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go kill a rat. Also, Jevin, have you been here since I uploaded my channel emotes that you now get because you're my only subscriber. <laughs> oh, I need to do the seance on the altar, that's right. <laughs> yeah, everybody's very stoked about the sword. <laughs> There's some other quite good ones that I've I'm just waiting for them to get approved in the system, but they're going to be very fun. Alright, let's summon some ghosts! I invoke the Banshee. You close your eyes and place your hands on the planchette of the, of the spirit board. Concentrating hard, you try to focus your thoughts towards the haunted mansion. Hello? Can you hear me? Show me a sign. The planchette begins to twitch and move, slowly tracing out letters on the board. Who is this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll come now. Who else would it be? I'm calling to let you know I found where the rat is. You might want to come down here and speak to him. The lights flicker within the halls and dim down until you are drenched in total darkness. Only a blood red glow thro throbs from the altar. Wind rushes through the church and you can hear the squealing of rats as they dive for cover. On the gales come the screams of the dead, reverberating through the halls. The spirit board shudders and splits with the noise, and a skeletal hand claws its way out from the peephole of the cracked planchette. Ah! He is here! I can smell him! Right through that crack in the wall, actually. The vengeful spirit howls and flies straight through your body as she sweeps down into the rat's hideout. That's chilly. 
Wait for me, I need to see how this ends. <laughs> Hell yeah! Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, get him! You! You dare take from me! How did you- Wait, it, it was just a simple misunderstanding. I didn't- Even in your hour of judgement, you lie! The rat's bulging eyes lock onto you in desperation. This is your doing, isn't it? You let her in here! I am merely helping to settle a dispute. You thought all your grove robbing wouldn't come with consequences? Face justice for your crimes, thief! Out the dead have come for you! The banshee whirls around like a hurricane, drawing with her an innumerable host of ghosts and spirits. No, no, get off us, you wretches! You were dead! Find us keepers! The spectral claws grab onto the rat and his verminous friends and drag them squealing into the underworld. <laughs> yes! Thick! <laughs> With the crack of thunder, the howling wind evaporates. Not a single rat remains. A calm falls over the banshee as she reaches down and picks up one of the scattered brooches left on the floor. My... my brooch... It's back. It's safe. I can finally sleep. She clutches her treasure to her breast and looks at you with a final crooked smile before fading away in a glimmer of ghostly smoke. In the airy silence of the cave, you see something squirming in the debris. Oh, that's so gross! <laughs> You brush aside some pilfered treasure and uncover a writhing mass of pink rat tails tangled together like worms. Ugh, looks like they got all knotted up trying to escape. The soul of the rat. Oh, that's so gross. That's so gross. <laughs> ah, let's leave. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yes, ghosts. Yes, bring the ghosts back to the churchyard. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so the only thing we need now is we need to go and kill a fish. If I can remember how the hell we did that. Did you want to chat? Finally some peace around here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Here we go. All right, let's go to the docks. Let's go to the beach beach. Hmm. I can't quite remember how to kill these guys. Um, so I just got to spot one of them. No, not you. You! How do I kill you? Oh, a tidal tincture. Okay. What do I need for that? Many things. Oh, many things. Oh, many things. Okay, we can make this. Make a couple of them. Another soul bites the dust. Um, this is the last soul for this section. Um, and then I think there are four more after this. Because we've still got one location that we need to uncover. Um, and then, once we got that, we should be good. Oh, damn. Oh, actually, I can make weird water pretty easily. Okay. I need to go back to town to go pick up a bunch more cobblestones. And then we should be able to get this guy. Um, let me also make another jar. Because I will be needing that. Alright. Looking for cobblestones. Not for elves, for cobblestones. I mean, I'll take these two, but I really want cobblestones. Like this. Ooh, nice. God, I am.
am extremely jealous of Yol's ability to just make ramen. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cobblestone. Great. Okay. So now we can make this. Put it in here. Great. So we need water. Uh, we can get water from the well. Because we're still in the village, so if we go this way, we're gonna go straight to the well in the woods. Or, wait, maybe not quite that way. If we go... This way. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Gay sheep time. <laughs> Recipe isn't authentic, it's no kare i bully miso. Yeah. No, I'm sure it's it's not like super authentic, but it does like just even just the idea of ramen sounds extremely delicious. Do you reckon we could use a skeleton key on this door up here? It slaps so hard. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon a skeleton a skeleton key would work here? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't want to risk it. I feel like we'll, it'll probably open up for us. <laughs> I might leave it for the for when we finish like we're on to the next section of creatures because um it might open up for us if that's the way we're meant to go and if not we can we can give it a shot it's just that there's, there's a, a few things that go into a skeleton key that i'm like i don't want to i don't want to waste it and do more back and forthness okay but we can make some weird water Oi. right can we also make... Yep. Cool. Um, and I think there's one of these still running around back there, so we should be good to go. Yeah! <laughs> yes, Rainbow Sheep! <laughs> I love them! <laughs> Okay. -dum 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 -dum. Okay. They are so happy. It makes me so happy. I love it. The missions where we're just like, nah, we're just here to help you be happy with your life. Oh, love them. So here for them. It's like that other mission that we did with the, um... The dude in The Witcher, where it was like, we just had to help him win that one fight. Oh, that's easily my favorite, my favorite quest of the whole thing. I love it so much. <laughs> okay. Got that. We can do this. Boom. Where are you, fish man? Please let me kill you. Great. <laughs> Can I get another thing from here? Or oh, it's gonna be another fish, isn't it? Yeah. I'll grab one of these. Alright, so now we've got everything we need to make this. Which we can then use to make this. Which we can then use. Oh, do we have enough to make a skeleton key? Yep. We can then use to make this. Hooray! <laughs> All that stuff was just going on in the background while we were doing other shit. <laughs> oh wait, wait. We're not actually giving this to him, are we? We're going to go and unlock the. Um... Yeah, we have to unlock the lighthouse. That's right. Uh, 
uh, which is down? Is that right? No, it's up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The rusty lock makes a sound like a sloppy kiss as you turn the key inside it. Oh no. <laughs> Bubbling and creaking, the aged metal hinges protest as years of grime dissolve away. The wooden door swings open to reveal a wall of emerald seawater. You can see fish swimming about inside, but not a drop crushes the, crosses the threshold. Oh my, the entire lighthouse must be filled up like a bottle. You prod the salty aperture with your finger, sending ripples along the surface. Then, as if you pull the stopper from a tub, the water begins to drain. Slowly at first, but quickly building ferocious speed, the waves cascade around you. You catch notes of a trumpeting sound droning above the crashing swells. The music turns to a soft whisper as the last of the flood is sucked away, leaving the inside of the lighthouse damp and encrusted with stranded sea life. Oh no! You bend down to examine the source of the drainage. A golden conch shell is wedged between the waterlogged floorboards. I shall take it. You put the conch to your ear. It sounds as if an entire ocean is contained within. Ah, uh, what a marvel. I wonder if the mermaid will still answer its call after all this time. The child's story is said to blow it out over the water under the lighthouse. Oh, it did? I don't think it's here, but maybe it is. Standing at the end of the pier, you blow into the conch. You feel a warm breeze pass through the salty waves and uplift your spirits. A crystal clear trumpeting note rings out from the shell and seems to still the ocean waters to a mirror shine. Sweet laughter chimes like a bell in response, and a shadowy shape approaches from the depths below. Oh, hell yes! That is a gorgeous mermaid. <laughs> Honestly, very close second place to Lady of the Lake. Um, an enormous full-bodied figure breaches the stillness of the water, throwing her hair back joyfully and extending her arms out to the sun. She thrusts her body up onto an outcropping of rocks, splashing her long, thinned tail in the waves. <laughs> oh, oh yes! I love you! <laughs> As the mermaid speaks, her voice is operatic. Oh no, what have I let myself in for? My gift, my gift, lain silent for years, now sounds again, sad music for my ears. My lover long gone, but their memory still sweet. I thank you, I thank you for the nostalgia. What would you entreat? Bring hot water for him to life. <laughs> got it. You gotta sing it in like the Disney aerial voice. The like, my love. <laughs> I'm looking for a man lost at sea. He was the captain to that tall ship over there. You point to the high sails looming over the docks. I don't suppose you've had any dealings with him. This man I have seen, though his face is face is not known. Placed on a plank, overboard he was thrown. Downward he plunged, though not to the bottom. No, a great serpent swam up from the de deep and got him. He was pushed overboard? That grubby fish told me he was lost in a storm. Did you see where this leviathan got to? The lagoon by the shore holds a secret below. Send away the tides and the serpent will show. Keep that conch close, blow and I shall abide. I'll bring the strength of the sea to your side. With her song finished, she blows you a wet kiss and starts preening her hair with a spiny seashell. Hell yeah, babe. I know what you want. We gotta go all the way down here. We gotta go to the place that I accidentally went the first time I was here. <laughs> mm -mm. This one... The lagoon! Must be the place to blow the conch. Ooh, I'll pick this up while I'm here. 
You take a deep breath and press the conch to your lips. Its clarion call echoes across the rippling tide. You feel the waves swell around your feet, reverberating with the sound of the conch. The water disappears so fast that you're unsure if the tides are receding into the ocean, or if the seafloor itself is rising from the depths. Oh. yo! When the waters recede, you look across the island to a yawning cave opening. From within, you sense the steady rhythm of enormous breaths. Yo. 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 So cool. Hell yeah. I love this. Let's go. Okay, I know it's not going to be this, but this has immediately given me, like, shiny vibes from Moana. <laughs> Just the huge shiny crab, which, oh, I love. But I know it's not that. It's a serpent. They said it was like a sea serpent. But still. Or Atlantis. Yeah, that too. <gasps> oh my god! I was like, oh no, I see a fin. I should go over this way. And then that's where its face was. Oh boy! Whirlpool to the surface. Yo! Pal, you are huge! Hello! <laughs> you can't help but shudder under the powerful gaze of the monstrosity before you. <laughs> Big boy! <laughs> A booming voice sounds throughout the cabin, as if you were in the very throat of the beast. Who dares enter my sanctum? I, I have come looking for a man lost at sea. The coils of the serpent shudder and wheeze. You brace yourself as the creature reels back and unleashes a cough loud enough to shatter a mountain. Excuse you, have you caught ill, Master Serpent? You land walkers are all alike, forever throwing your refuse into my waters. I have been poisoned by your insufferable detritus. My stomach aches, my insides burn. What's the matter? Did you swallow something you shouldn't have? Like a person? I have swallowed many things. You should not be here, land creature. Now, now, you're not well, and I may be able to help you. Open up that gob of yours and let me take a look inside. Hey, Savage! Perhaps you have come to strike the final blow against me. Why should I trust you? You're being dramatic. I'm not going to hurt you. But if you don't let me take a look inside your belly, the sickness will surely fast fester. Doubtful. But perhaps I can humor you if you prove that you are friend to the ocean. Answer me these riddles three. Only then will I trust your words, Landwalker. I fucking love riddles. Yes. <laughs> First of my questions. You pull my waters from the ground to quench your thirst. It's a well. What manner of beast sits atop the well of your forest? Ooh. That's a great question. I think it's a dragon. I'm just gonna go for it. Ooh, I think I got it! <laughs> Another question. You bury your dead in the earth, but there is no escape from the call of the deep. Whose watery gaze watches over your graveyard? Oh, who watches over the graveyard? Um, I don't think it's a. Um, I think it's a sea serpent. The final question! You land walkers desire gold over all things. But in front of your banking house, 
What creature rules with true happiness? Banking house? Where is there a banking house? <laughs> what are you talking about? Have we ever been to the village bank? I don't think so. Yeah. Have we been there? I don't think we have. Like, it's in town, but... Oh! Oh, the most famous of beasts are clam. Sure, let's say whale. You have... Uh, no! Let me try a grin. My memory isn't the steel trap it used to be. Damn it. Okay. Let's actually go look. <laughs> I think it... Hmm. Okay. We can, we can work these out. It's probably that a couple of the ones that I answered were not right. Because I think you're right about the whale fountain. Um, although the only other thing in my head was like, maybe it's a clam because clams carry pearls, but let's see. I don't even know where the fuck the bank is. the bakery. I would think the bank would be near the market, but maybe it's not? Okay. You were totally right, Amy. Whale fountain. Okay. I'm guessing this is the bank. That looks like a bank. Um. <laughs> Damn right you did. Okay. So the bank with the whale fountain is correct. Let's see if we can find... So it's the bank, the well in the forest... And the one in the graveyard. Let's go forest first. One, two, three, whale. Yeah, exactly. Um. Where are you? Fish. Yeah, I got that one wrong. Twas not a dragon, twas merely a fish. Ooh, I'm gonna grab these while I'm here. Thank you. And actually, this too. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and this. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Amy, being a very diligent scribe for me. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Back to the graveyard. This is good. I'm happy to go around looking for trivia stuff. Uh, which one lo uh, looks over? A mermaid! Okay. Did I get both of them wrong then? Or did I say mermaid? I might have got both of them wrong. <laughs> So long story short, Amy's on top of it. I just took random stabs in the dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> That's all good. Let's go. I actually know the answers now, my, my dear, dear friend. Okay. Hello. I know these. It's a fish. 
And this is a mermaid. And this is a whale. The enormous creature rolls back its yellow eyes, bellowing with laughter. The laughter quickly succumbs to another bout of violent coughing. Curse my miserable body! Can I not even enjoy a moment of levity? It appears I was mistaken about you, Landwalker. You really weren't. I did not pay attention initially. <laughs> you have proven yourself worthy of my trust. The beast opens wide its carnivorous jaws, filling the air with a fishy stench. Your voices are everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Enter, but heed my warning. Break your word and I will digest you without hesitation. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> oh, buddy! Ahoy! Don't tell me that overgrown eel gobbled you up as well. Come and warm yourself by the fire. We ain't- oh, we ain't going anywhere soon. You look at the... fishy. <laughs> you look at the throbbing red walls of the monster's stomach and notice the discoloration and spotting. The campfire smoke is surely the cause of the beast's ailment. That would make sense. Ah, actually, I came here looking for you, Captain. Eh? How'd you know I was a captain? There's a little minnow waiting on the docks for her father. Oh, my little girl. My heart and joy. I promised I'd see her as soon as we anchored, but I never got the chance. Has it got anything to do with that fishy fellow captaining your ship? Raising his arms in anger, the man stumps his feet on the fleshy floor. The outburst causes the serpent another coughing fit, rocking you back and forth. That rotten son of a barnacle! We were just a few weeks from home when he conspired to mutiny. Ever since I told him the tale of the mermaid and her conch, he got this hungry look in his eye. I ain't never seen someone so obsessed. So he and the other bad apples jumped me in the night and tied me up. The rest of my trusty crew as well. And then that floppin' flounder made us walk the plank in the brine into the briny deep. I was praying to Neptune, and he must have answered my call. This great bloody serpent swallowed me up and saved me from drowning. Been stuck in here ever since. Can't seem to get out, but the fire keeps me from going all the way through to the through the other end, at least. Though, with that metal head of yours, you ought to have no trouble, uh, passing through without much fuss. Just what I needed today. Say, all that smoke is causing our host great discomfort. I'm sure you'd both be happier if you parted ways. I just suppose we do that. Let me see what I can cook up with that fire pit of yours. Oh no! <laughs> if one were to build enough irritants, the beast may be provoked into explosively expelling the source. Oh boy! Okay, what if we... Is there anything around here? <laughs> the way out! <laughs> Amazing. Um... Okay, is there anything? Oh no, oh no! We've, so we've got to make Potion of Blight, Royal Incense, Allergenic Potion, uh, Allergenic Potpourri. Where's that? This one. What is this? A rat tail, a cat's hairball, and some dog hair. Okay, alright, we can get that working. Um, and then we need Potion of Blight, which we can make right now. Great. And, uh, Royal Incense. Which we... Okay, we can make that part of it. Not that part, so we need to grab some stuff for that. Um, and... I think we can make this. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta go to the forest and back to town. Not too bad. Oh! That is. <laughs> Amazing game design! <laughs> So 
good. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say that there was a horrible sound effect, and it was, but um... <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that little detail of putting you on the other side. <laughs> Extremely good. Okay, what do I actually got to give? Oh, cat treats. Right. Can I make a cat treat? I can. Hooray. Boop, boop, boop. Thank you. Um, and then we gotta find a dog. Uh, yeah, I might take this anyways. Thank you, thank you. Where are the dogs? That's a cow. That's not a dog. Ramen, why are you so hot? Mm. Ain't it always the way? I need some doggos. Where are you at, doggos? Probably back in town. Oh, that's a cat. Hey, I can pick these up for now. Doggos! Hello! What do you have? Nope, you're a cat. That's not what I need. I need a doggo. Where are all the doggos? Okay. There you are. Okay, and I gotta give you. Oh no! Don't fight me, please. Ah! There we go. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to the left here to go and get um, more stuff from the forest. Nice, nice, nice. Whew. We might as well pick up some of this while we're here. Okay, great. Foresty things. Do 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 do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. Basically just gonna do a quick circuit and just pick up what we can grab by doing that. Um hmm. Hi. Bye. Eh. Now we're here. Okay. So. We need to- Ooh! Oh no! <laughs> what kind of pie, Jevon? I need to know. Mm -hmm. Great. And then we can make this. And then we can also make this. And I think that's everything. Potion of Blight. We've got yeah, we got everything. Nice. To the docks, away. Oh, whoops. I thought that was gonna take us back there, but. I guess that's just where the whirlpool puts you. That's okay, it's right here. <laughs> mm. 
guessing we've got to get eaten again. Hello. <laughs> oh, the sound effects. Okay. Potion of Blight. You sit the smelly preparations beside the fire. Boop boop. Royal incense. Oh. And... Allergenic potpourri. You pile the eye-watering ingredients on the campfire and fan the flames. Soon, black smoke billows up and fills every nook and cranny with its stinging odor. The captain scratches his nose and stifles a great sneeze. Phew, that's quite a concoction. This serpent will feel more than a tickle in his throat. You feel a deep rumbling through the fleshy floor. Get ready to set sail, Captain. We'll be out of here soon enough. You kick up the smoky coals, spreading the aggravating haze until a rumbling quake knocks you onto your backside. Landwalker, what have you... I'm going to refrain from doing that. <laughs> The captain leaps into your arms and the two of you clutch each other tightly as muscles contract violently beneath your feet. A surging contraction forces you up and out of the serpent's blowhole like a gunshot. <laughs> you shoot out of the serpent's cabin and clear over the lagoon. The captain holds you tighter than a life boy as you sail across the blue sky. The tiny harbour front below grows closer and closer until the hulking mass of the ship rushes up to meet you. With a crash of splintering wood and rushing water, everything goes black. <laughs> Literally got cannon launched. <laughs> you regain your senses and get to your feet. Despite feeling a bit soggy, everything seems to be in working order. Behind you, the fish's base of operations has been cracked open like an egg. Fishermen are busy rescuing shell-shocked sailors from the waters. Oh my, what happened here? You, you didn't see it? A great bloody cannonball came rocketing out of the sky and stove in the captain's pride and joy. Poor girl didn't even stand a chance. I've never, never seen a shot so powerful. I think all hands managed to get clear of the wreckage, though. All hands? What about the fish? The buccaneer wipes a single salty tear from his face. He points to something familiar that has washed up on the nearby shore. You know what they say. The captain always goes down with his shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, I want it, though. It appears to be the bicorn captain's hat, last worn by the fish. Waterlogged and shot through with splinters. You reach down to pick it up, but it flops on the sand like some beach sea creature. The soul of the fish. Yes! You sense the souls of the fish, cat, rat, and ram pulse with captive malignance. The goat will be wanting to take custody of these four. Best not to keep them waiting. Wait, I want to see the cute family reunion! Ah! <laughs> you find the captain and his daughter in a loving embrace. <laughs> My sweet little sea star, I'm so sorry I made you wait for so long. Can you ever forgive this old wash-up? Oh! That's so sweet! Ah, it's good to feel dry land under my feet. Hell yeah! Oh, I love that. <laughs> the fish man is dead! <laughs> Jivan, what kind of pie is it? You have to tell us! <laughs> Can't keep bringing this up! Not telling us! Okay. Oh, devil goat! I've got some more souls for you! Apple pie. Ooh, nice classic. We love it. Hey yo. The goat snorts with delight at your approach. Wonderful. Wait, hold on. Wonderful. You've turned you've returned with more souls. These were even more troublesome than the last. I will be glad to be rid of them. If you would be so kind, bring them to the shrine. 
Then we will be one step closer to concluding our business together. You got it. The clanging of the ram's bronze bell rings out in your ears. Many voices chanting in unison, grabbing hands, trampling feet. <laughs> oh, the cat skin boots. <laughs> oh, congrats! First apple pie, nice. The machinations of the cat unfold before you as her boots burn away before the shrine. Pieces moving on a game board. Cheats, laughter, lies. <laughs> right, not a so gross. Sensations of the rat fill your mind. Tiny feet scratching at crumbling walls, digging cold earth, snapping brittle bones, taking, stealing, hiding. You hold your breath as the salty feeling of the fish washes over you. The sound of creaking wood, jagged barnacles, crashing waves, fading light, betrayal. Oh, four more to go. Your shoulders straighten as if a great weight is lifted from them. The maiden stirs in her sleep, troubled by fitful dreams. Only four more souls left until your contract is fulfilled. But I expect it has been a tiring day. Come, you should get some sleep. Yes, I could rest. She is pretty, that's true. Hmm. I'm still curious as to what our deal with the goat is specifically, but I don't know if we'll ever find out. Final four! Yes. Wait, hold on. You step out into the morning mist and find the goat with a morn with a mouthful of grass. Terrible, <laughs> terrible tasting stuff. They don't understand this, this creature's appetite. With luck, you won't have to suffer the mortal whims of a farm animal much longer. After I collect the last souls, you can go back to the void from which you came. Ah, the void can wait. You're much better company anyway. But you are correct, there is only one left leg left to our journey. The final four souls have revealed themselves to me. Where are they this time? Three linger in spaces you have already tread. The village, the market, and the fields. And the fourth resides far to the north, on the cold slopes of the mountain. I will track them down no matter where they try to hide. Marvelous. I have just done the math real quick. Was the first one four? Okay, no, it was four. Right. I thought the first set of animals was three, and I was like, wait, we're gonna be the last one, aren't we? But, which we, maybe we still will be, but I was wrong on my math. There was four. Okay. Well. Uh, so the hog? Hmm. Where do we want to go? The hog is in the top right of the market. I know that much. Tell you what. Oh, we can't go to the mountain. That's right. Um. Let's go to the hawk in the fields. I've got no idea where that will be. So let's go find out. Uh. Uh. Oh, over that way. Okay. Cabbage baby! <laughs> Any chance to see Cabbage baby should be taken. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, Cabbage baby! <laughs> Oi. Oi! Get over here. Thank you. Alright. This way. Ooh. Hello. Wait. Oh, is this? Oh, no. That's to the village. Oh. Oh there, ma'am. Hope you don't have business that way. The mill's in a spot of trouble. The mill, you say? Aye, so I do. I was just about to drop off my wheat to the nice couple that works there, but when I heard the ruckus, I thought it best to wait here. 
What ruckus? Are they beset by bandits? Worse, a businessman. The hawk is the land baron that owns most of the property around these parts. I saw him banging on the mill's door with a greedy look in his eyes. Trust me, it's best to lay low until the storm blows over, lest you want to end up penniless. I have little use for coin, therefore nothing to lose. Perhaps I ought to see what the fuss is about. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go kill a landlord! <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you! Oh no! Oh no, he in a very good outfit. Damn. By decree of the local bylaw, you must come out. Any who interfere with eviction of this property will face full legal consequences for obstruction of justice. As the stately tycoon hammers on the mill door, a pair of shaking voices call out from the nearby window. P -p Please, Master Hawk, we just need a little more time. You've had ample opportunity to renegotiate our contract at the civil at the civic hall. There is no time for excuses now. Open this door at once. Ha! Ah, more miserable contracts. Drop the pretenses, Hawk. You're nothing more than a crook in fancy clothes. Excuse me, but this business does not concern you, madam. Take your snide remarks and be off. I'll determine what business earns my concern, thank you very much. I'd like to hear the other side of the story for myself. Well, if they insist on remaining locked inside, then I shall depart. But if I do not receive my payment at the bank soon, even a locked door won't stand in my way. The hawk steps smartly around you and off down the road back to the village, leaving a trail of dust in his wake. Hmm, these poor millers are still too shaken up uh, to come out. I'll have to go get in around the back somehow. Ah, Poor sweeties. <laughs> a hatchet might break these apart. Oh, okay. Boom. <laughs> you weren't you weren't using those, right? That's fine. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> oh, pals, what's up? <laughs> How did you get in here? Did the did the hawk send you? We don't have anything left to give. We swear. Relax, I'm no thug. It seems like you two are caught between a rock and a bureaucrat. <laughs> Just how did you get into such a pickle? What's to tell? The hawk is our landlord, and we work this mill for him. We've always been on time with our payments, never missed them once. But that greedy tyrant has been steadily hiking up the cost. We've barely been able to feed ourselves and pay our dues, but we always manage to scrape by. And then this last month, he raised the rent again. And what's worse, someone broke in during the night and cracked our millstone. If we can't grind flour, we'll never be able to get the money. And now he says he can't, if we can't pay, he'll evict us. Awfully suspicious that your millstone was damaged right as the rent increased. Almost like he wants to get rid of you. We've explained the situation to him, but that man only has eyes for gold. Not a kernel of kindness resides in his heart. Well, let me take a look at that grinder of yours. A broken mill isn't much good to anyone, regardless of who owns it. Really? You'd do that for us? If the millstone was repaired, we might just we just might be able to make enough flour before the deadline. Oh, sweeties. Let me just steal from you real quick. <laughs> okay, great. Awesome. Lovely. What's up with your millstone? You inspect the granite millstone and run your fingers along the wide crack that has rendered the device dysfunctional. Hmm, just as I thought. This appears to have been done on purpose. The heavy stone could be coaxed back together, but it will require strong bonding magic. Oh, well, I have cobblestones. The cobblestones clunk down on the face of the millstone. The heavy stone could be... Co oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then... Star of Idol. Oh boy. And we're back at it. <laughs> yes! I did kill two pumpkin jacks, that's right. Yay, thank you, past me. <laughs> um and what was the other thing we needed? One of the the tangle things? Ah, oh, I need another sewing kit. Okay. But I can put this one here for now. But nope. 
You place the idol atop the millstone. Okay, great. Alright, let's go. We'll be back, don't worry. We'll fix your whole deal. Let's go up to the village as well. Um, just so if we need to get more stuff from the swamp, we can kind of get it all in one go. I was hoping the <laughs> I was hoping their shop would be up and running by now, but that's okay. Yeah, rainbow sheep, <laughs> still doing their thing. <laughs> Who are you, Dank Nabbit? What do they mean too young for the tavern? I'm plenty big enough to go in there. Hello there, child. What are you so perplexed about? child I'm no child I'm a fierce full muscled man he, he puffs out his tiny chest proudly oh that must explain the little patches of fuzz on your chin there his cheeks flush red in embarrassment as he tries to reassert his dominant facade hey it's rude to stare anyway I, I just shaved I knew I should have let my beard grow out more, but that crotchety old barkeep says I look too young to go into the tavern. What business do you have in a dank place like that? It's dank, yo. <laughs> a lad like you shouldn't be wasting his allowance on ale. I'm not wasting my- I don't get an allowance. I'm a brave hunter, or at least I will be as soon as I catch my first quarry. What exactly are you hunting? Only the biggest, baddest beast of them all. The wolf. Do you know how many houses he's blown down? Not to mention all the missing maidens. Missing maidens, you say? Everyone knows that treacherous dog has a sweet tooth for pretty damsels. He lures them out into the dark wood so he can gobble them up. The town's guard's too scared to help, so it's up to me to put a stop to this terror. And he's inside that tavern. Right now! Shame there's no miners allowed. Let me have a look at this feral fellow and see if he's as bad as you claim. Well, I guess I'll just post up here until he comes out. Then I'll give him a taste of my blunderbuss. Alrighty. The thirsty gargoyle! Yeah! We love it. Let's go! Won't let me in? I'll show them. Oh, that's him. Right, okay. We're good. Ooh! Yo! Oh, God. This place is popping off and you seem like the worst. Hold on a sec, though. Thank you, thank you. Wow. What can I get ya? Information if you have it on tap. What do you know about your patron, the wolf? Know enough to keep a mouth shut and mind my work. That one's trouble, and you'll stare clear if you know what's good for you. So you just turn a blind eye to his behavior? Hey, I'm just trying to make it through the end of the night in one piece. Now are you going to order something or not? No, I am not, sir. Leave this lady alone. You find the wolf looming over a frightened looking barmaid. Oh no. Oh, we've really left the worst for last. Come on, Red, why don't you join me for a midnight snack? I already told you I can't. I've got work to do. I'm sure your boss won't mind one bit. One bite. I mean, bit. Don't make me beg now. Please, I really have to get back to work. Ah, but you're just so delectable. A real feast for the eyes. You accidentally tread on the wolf's tail. Oh, excuse me, sir. 
He jumps up with a yelp and spins to face you angrily. Yeah! Watch where you're stepping, you old hag! Terribly sorry, I couldn't tell you apart from the dirty rug on the floor. He bears his fangs at you menacingly. What did you say to me? While the wolf is distracted, the young maiden slips away and disappears into the gloom of the tavern. Nice! <laughs> now look what you've done! Where did she go? He shoves his way past you to go prowling around the bar. Hmm, the huntsman's tale rings true. I'd better find where that barmaid got to before she becomes a dinner. Oh my god! You are the worst, my dude! Red, you okay? You see the maid's red hood poking out from behind a, a wooden barrel. Oh, it's just you. Thanks for helping me out back there. It's getting a little... cramped. It's hard enough serving meat all day, but to have to deal with that slavering wolf too? He does seem like the relentless type. Are you alright? Just a bit rattled. I was ready to smash a tray over his snout if he got any closer, but I'm sure that would have landed me in hot water with the boss. The wolf's turning over every table and bar still trying to sniff you out. Great. I think I'll just hide back here and, uh, reorganize the storeroom or something. I admire your sense of self-preservation, but maybe there's a more permanent solution to this problem? I know a young huntsman looking to prove himself. Perhaps we can lure the wolf outside and deal with him there. Sure, but how? You can count me out as bait because I'm done being dog food. I doubt that mutt can see very well in this dingy place. Might be able to fashion a convincing enough likeness to trick him. You eye a nearby coat rack. Already did. <laughs> that ought to make a good starting place. Well, whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. I'm losing out on tips. Valid. Hello! This old coat rack ought to serve as a solid frame. You won't need much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. Okay, gotta get... Okay. Oh, another key to your heart? Wow, alright. We are gonna have to get a lot of stuff. I don't think... Because we need a dryad heart. Yeah. Can we make this? Nope. Objective charm. Uh... We need dog here. Of course. Alright. You suck. Okay. So, so far, it's mostly looking like we need a good old trip to the swamp. Um, and the forest, because we're going to have to go and get dryad here. But, yes. I want to go to the market. Let's go see what the hog's about. Um... And then the other- oh no, we already ran into the hawk, so where is the other one? Oh, on the mountain, that's right. I'm not sure how we get to the mountain, actually. What? You're new. Clinging to a raggedy shawl, the old panhandler holds a tin cup with trembling hands. Arms for the poor? Sure. A little coin can go a long way. You bow your head respectfully to the aged fellow, dropping in a coin, dropping a coin, dropping in a coin into his cup. From under his ratty hood, the man gleams a silver-toothed grin at you. Thank you, kind miss. A penny for your thoughts, old timer. I'm afraid my thoughts are a little muddy as of late. Can't seem to recall what day it is or when the last time I ate was. Last I remember. I was working at the old hog farm with the other unfortunates. Not quite sure how I ended up back here on the streets. I've had more than a few memories abandon me as well. Say, I, I must have left a few of my things behind at the farm. Misplaced my boot and... Well, I can't remember what else. I don't suppose you'd do me the kindness of taking a look around the place for me. I'm not as spry as I used to be. 
At the hog farm, you say? I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Maybe they have a lost and found. Bless your heart. I do remember that you'll need permission to get through the gates. Those hog sisters run a tight ship. You'll have to go you have to go talk to the big hog who runs the butcher shop here in the market. She'll set you up with a work slip. Oh good to know. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh this place. There we go. Oh, wow. Are you an actual chest? You look like you are. Nice. Thank you. Wow, okay. Um, hi. Ooh, that is one hell of a portrait. Hmm. <clears throat> Chopping through a hock of meat with a gigantic cleaver, the surly-looking swine merely grunts at you when you approach. Excuse me, I heard that you were the one to talk to about getting a work slip? Oh boy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, what have I not already done? I've defaulted to a lot of British people. Um... Oh. I kind of want to go Australian, but it's extremely hard to go back and forth between Australian and New Zealand. <laughs> oh no. Mm. That what you heard? Well, you heard wrong. We got enough good-for-nothing workers. Now buzz off. You glance at the halo of flies buzzing around the pig's scalp. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. <laughs> Listen, there must be some way to get a slip. Well, I am running low on ingredients to make the summer sausage. None of these nincompoops can hold two thoughts in their heads. Tell you what. You get me the things I need and I'll give you your precious work slip. Okay. Can I make roast beast? Yes, I can. Good. Let me give that to you right now. There you go. You plop the sweet-smelling hop down on a relatively clean section of countertop. The pig grunts in acknowledgement. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's from the fields. Hmm. How do we get to the mountain? Not through here. Hmm. Uh, no. Maybe through the plains? Um. No, I bet it's through the the troll bit in the swamp. I bet that's where we have to get it from. Again, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> um Okay. Let's have a look. Hey pal. Nope. Still not gonna let me through, huh? Alright. I was wrong. <laughs> I can't go up that way at all. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Let's just do a big ol' sweep for things we can get from the swamp. How 
do you... Oh, it's the salt. That's right. Okay. Um, so the thing that I actually need right now is more... Skeeter noses. Skeeter snoots. Snoot Snoot, indeed. Wins. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Got you. Uh, uh, uh. Where the frogs go? Oh, they're down here now. Come back here. You too. Wait, come back here. <laughs> okay. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. Right. Sweet. Um. Okay. Can I make a bunch of smoke bombs? I can make two smoke bombs. That'll do for some stuff. I would like to find a place where I can get more than just one Skeeter, though. Would be great. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, hi, hello. Oh yeah, like here. Hello. Follow me this way, friend. To your other friend. That's it. That's it. Oh, over here. Come on, come on. Come on. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, I am probably gonna need more than that. I think it stands to reason that that will be the case. Hmm. So... I think the spot down here is the one that has the most still. Yeah, there's like three of you guys. Come on. Come fight me. You too. Come fight me. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come fight me. Hey, come fight me. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Uh, cool. I can get these as well. Nice. Nice. That's a pretty good shopping trip. Uh. Oh, interesting. Is there a way to get get to the mountains here? Yes! It's up that way. Okay. Let's go walkies a little bit. Oop, I need that. I need that, please. Thank you. Oh, I 
need to get dog hair as well. We can do that while we're here. Hey. Come on. Go on. Go get it. No, you want to. Ugh. Fine. Here you go. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> I just like the giggles. Hey. They're still going hard. Nice. <laughs> uh, no, don't fight me. No! Okay. So we can go to the mountain. Interesting. Oh. Oh, this really gives me beer and breakfast vibes. <laughs> like going to the snowy section and beer and breakfast. Mmm. What are you? Ice berries. Oh, hello. You must be elves, I'm guessing. Oh, hi! Oh, it's a buck, right. Stay back, spirit. I have nothing you want. Keep your wits about you, boy. I'm just an old woman. Oh, so you are. My apologies. One can never be too careful, travelling about the mountainside. Plenty of tricksters like to disguise themselves and play pranks on me. I meant no disrespect. None taken. What are you doing out in the cold, anyway? I've come to collect ice berries for my brother's coronation. He's going to be crowned king of the whole realm today. King? According to whom? Uh, well, according to him, I suppose. He is the eldest, after all. He says it's his destiny. Some days, I'm not so sure, though. I feel like I should be doing more than just tending to the castle's ground. Gardens. So he gets to be king, and you get to pick berries till your fingers fall off? It's not so bad. I like the crisp air and fresh snow. There's something magical about the wilderness. Ah, oh, but listen to me prattle on. I still need to collect the ice berries that my brother requested. He's very particular when it comes to, well, anything. A job sheared is done twice as quickly. Let me help you before the frost bites. Why, thank you. I am getting a bit chilly. I only need a few more ice berries. Great! How many? How many do you need? Ten. Okay, great. I can certainly help with that. Oh, hi, doggo. Oh, hi, doggos! Please don't fight me! Thank you. Ooh, I really like this music as well. It's lovely. Oh! <laughs> Off-putting snowman. <laughs> no less crudely constructed than the other snowmen that surround it, something is nevertheless off about this one in particular. Whether it's the too many limbs, the stitched mouth, or the trio of antlers, it irresistibly beckons to your touch. And as soon as your fingertips touch its cold surface, it falls completely to pieces. Yay! We found our portal. Boom, boom. Ooh. Ooh. Up on the slopes of the mountain, you spot a camp of dangerous-looking fur trappers sharpening their spears. No need to bother them just yet. Okay, game. Alright. You keep your secrets. Mm-hmm. 
Hello, I have your berries. Any luck finding those ice berries? Boom! Ah, just look at the wonderful bounty you've gathered. He gladly takes the berries from you and places them in his pack. It was no problem at all. The stroll through the brisk air was quite refreshing. If only my brother cared as much for the beauty of this place. He's always been content staying amidst the nobles of his court. I should like to meet this brother of yours. He sounds like quite the ruler. Well, why didn't you say so? I'd be happy to invite you into the castle. The buck slips his arm out towards you in a gentlemanly fashion. You take it with your gnarled claws and nod. Hell yeah! <laughs> Let's be off then, shall we? Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> the prince isn't accepting peasant complaints. Scat, you old crow. How dare you speak to my guest with that tone? Apologies, sir. I did... I didn't know she was your guest. Don't apologize to me. I'm not the one you disrespected. R right. Uh, sorry, miss. What I meant to say was, uh, welcome to the court of the magnificent and benevolent stag. Louder and with more pomp, please. I hereby welcome thee, lady of the, um, the swamp. Lady of the swamp! To celebrate with us on this most auspicious day, the bequeathing of the kingdom to he whose antlers reach the hithermost clouds and shine with justice, and that will do just fine. Carry on guarding. R right. <laughs> the buck turns to you and nods to his pack. I've got to prepare these berries for the ceremony and do some final pruning in the hedge maze. I'll meet you inside. There's a hedge maze? Whoa, this place is fancy. <laughs> oh. It is awfully cold. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Fancy loot, exactly. Sitting upon a lofty throne, the prince looms over his court of nobles. Not too many cakes, they can't outnumber the tarts. And where is my useless brother with those berries? Everything must be perfect for my coronation. I think I saw him slink off to the garden, sire. No doubt shirking his royal duties once again. Ingrate. I do ever so much for that little rascal, and he doesn't even bother to show me the respect I deserve. I should have had him exiled long ago, if only he weren't my brother. <laughs> A fantastic idea, your grace. He'll be shown the door as soon as the ceremony is concluded, I assure you. <laughs> my days of sharing the throne with that dandelion are almost over. It is best he lives out his days on a mountain. Lord knows it's where he belongs. The stag's eyes narrow suspiciously at a cluster of nobles. Speaking of my brother... Have you three taken care of the statue in the hedge maze? Oh, uh, yes, your majesty, just as you requested. Don't you worry yourself, my lord. The nobles exchange hurried whispers, but you can't hear them clearly. I wonder what all the fuss has to do with a measly statue. Something doesn't feel right. Perhaps I ought to take a look at it myself. Right after I take a look at this chest. Yeah! Thank you! <laughs> oh, wow. You seem like a real dickhead. <laughs> oh boy, it's a full on maze! Yes! I'm so here for it. Is this actually a chest? Yes, okay. Nice. I'll take this as well. Um, yeah, let's go with let's go with standard maze rules. And just always follow the left. Oh, there's a nice seat. That's sweet. Uh -huh. Keep following the left hand wall. Okay, is there anything around this corner though? No, it's a dead end, but anything here? No. Okay. Oh, there you are. Hello. No, 
don't mind me, just taking care of some last minute pruning. Oh, this statue, huh? At the foot of the marble statue was a cracked and weather-beaten plaque. You swipe some snow from the engraved slab and find that large chunks have been hewn away from it. Only a few words are still legible. Stag. Rightful heir and ruler. Revealed. Hmm. The choice of words is quite convenient for our royal aspirant. I wonder what the rest of the story has to say about the matter. You pick a tuft of colourful fur caught on the statue's raised hoof. It looks to be from a very expensive piece of clothing. The nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secrets of this statue. Ooh! Integrate the nobles of the court. Huh? Oh, interrogate. Yeah, that makes much more sense. Oh, I bet you are meant to be the king. I bet that's what it is. You're so nice. <laughs> Let's go talk to them. Are they gonna immediately be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> who invited her? <laughs> We're really living in the best of times. These petite... What? These pet... Fours are to... Oh, petite fours. One of them dusts masonry from their cloak. Hello. How do I do this? Some witchcraft force ought to loosen their tongues. Oh, wait. Aha! Truth serum! <laughs> oh, yo! We can make some, hell yeah! Gabelle! <laughs> you stick your syringe into a plump macaron and offer it up to the nearest nobleman on a silver platter. He pops it into his mouth without even looking at you. The broken plaque in the hedge maze. Would you happen to know anything about it? The noble's eyes flutter and they speak as if conversing with themselves. Can you believe the audacity of the stag? He broke it. He should have been the one disposing the pieces. Well, I couldn't be bothered to do such menial labour. Can you imagine? <laughs> so anyways, I just tossed my piece in the southern, so southeast corner of the maze. Next time, you should get some of the servants to do his dirty work. You snap your finger at the noble. They sneer at you for a moment before returning to their wine as if nothing had happened. Okay. You look like the next one and I can make another one so let's do that and then we can do this you slather a cracker with liver pate and drizzle some scintillating serum over top soon enough a nobleman licks his lips and indulges himself what do you know about the statue in the hedge maze the nobleman scratches his chin absently Oh, you mean the one the stag smashed up? I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but... He told me to get rid of some chunk of marble. Terrible, heavy thing. Anyway, I just left it behind in the wood benches... Uh, behind one of the wooden benches in the maze. Did he really expect me to lug it all the way out of the castle? You snap your fingers and the noble immediately goes back to snacking as if nothing had happened. Interesting... Uh, let's go grab those ones while we're here. And then we're gonna have to go and get some more chicken's feet for the rest of it. Hello. Just as described, a piece of the plaque seems to have been kicked under the bench and forgotten. Thank you. And southeast corner is down here. Buried beneath a heaping of snow, you finally manage to find a hunk of stone. Mm hmm. The plot thickens. 
Interesting. Okay. Now I can't make any more truth serum because I'm out of chicken's feet. But we can go rectify that. Oh. Alright. God, I love this music. It's very good. Okay, so what do we have that we need gathering? <clears throat> uh, yeah, we need more chickens feet. Oh, crow's foot, which are in the fields. We can make another one of these. Then for the hog, we need eggs and skipper scales, which means we're going to need one of these. These as well. Uh, nice. Um. Oh yeah, the key to the heart. Okay. We definitely gotta make one of these. Because we gotta make it, and then we need to make one of these. Oh, which means we just need more embers now. Okay. Cool. Um, sewing kit, key to my heart is gonna be a lot of stuff. Gotta kill another one of them. <laughs> Gotta go get that skeleton head. Okay. And the hawk. Oh, the hawk, we only needed a snag vine to go and fix that. Okay, sick. Well, we can do that. And then let's make another sewing kit while we're here. Cool. So we can actually go. Let's go to the fields because we can go there also set off a trap while we're there and also pick up more eggs from chickens yeah um because they're right here uh, i think just these are okay for trapping birds if i remember rightly Get you. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Need eggs. Thank you. And you. Thank you! Great. We got eggs. Um. Got eggs, we need skipper scales. Uh, but we have enough to go back and do that. And we can make a... Did we already make a snag vine? We did! So let's go talk to the millers. And then from there we can loop around and go back to the mountains. But the millers are over this way. Hi! I did it! I can fix your thing! Boom! The vines wind their way neatly into the track crack of the millstone, beginning to seal it anew. An ominous creaking sound fills the mill as the grindstone begins to shift and warp. Then, with a, la with a bang like thunder, the crack in the s on the stone snaps closed. The couple marvel at the millstone, running their hands over the smooth surface. It it's been fixed! It's been fixed! The stone should be more durable than ever. I dare say it might even hold up to any future attempts of sabotage. Oh my! What a wonder! If it's all the same to you, we need to get our grain processed right away! The hawk has no patience when it comes to money. He'll already be back at the bank putting through the paperwork. I ought to talk some sense into that penny-pinching buzzard. If I go now, I'm sure I'll intercept him at his office. Hell yeah! 
You're welcome. Ba -ba -ba. Let's go. Deal with the douchebag. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Cinder as well, I think. Nice. Um. Yay, rainbow sheep! <laughs> Always make the day better. Mm -hmm. To the bank. Interesting. Hello, sir. Whoa, that's far enough. <laughs> Very true, Amy. <laughs> no one gets... What was that? No one gets in there... No one gets in there on my watch. Okay. So we've got to kill you. No. <laughs> hey, douchebag. <laughs> You conniving knave! I know you sabotaged those poor Miller's grindstone. So what if I did? The property value has gone up and they can't afford the rent. It's up to me to find someone else who can. Fuck. People like you will never be satisfied. You always want more and more. Tell me, Master Hawk, what in this world would sate your hunger for gold? Simple. The rumpling would. The whatling? The rumpling! precocious fey alchemist they say he's in possession of the alchemist stone which can turn whatever it touches into gold if the legends are to be believed the one to catch the rumpling would be paid his weight in gold then why not put your mind to catching the rumpling instead of harassing your poor tenants oh believe me i've tried but he's a crafty fellow i've only ever gotten my hands on a single clue and i've got that locked up tight in my vault Seems like you're robbing the world of an opportunity. Just because you can't find this rumpling fellow, no one else can. You eye the nearby bank, bank vault suspiciously. A single guard looks simple enough to bypass. Ooh! We get to make a glamour? What's this one? Oh, a mimic's toe. Okay. Which means we still need another skeleton key. Gotcha. I'm not going to make one of those just yet. <laughs> heist, 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 heist. <laughs> well, let's go to the docks. Because we can definitely do that one. And then we can come back and talk to Butcher Pig Lady. Um... Oh, I do need to catch one of them as well, actually, now that I think about it. But that's okay. Do I need to do it right now? Thanks, buddy. I appreciate your sacrifice. <laughs> okay, that's everything for the hog. Yeah, that's everything for the hog. Let's go back. Oh, what do, what do I need for this again? Weird border, which I can make. Come back for that, but that's all good. Oh, butcher lady, I have your things. 
Bye. Oh god, I've already forgotten what I... Oh yeah. Tell you what, you get me the things I need and I'll give you your precious work slip. Here you go. You push the basket of eggs towards the hog. She holds each one up to a candle flame and oinks in apparent satisfaction. And... Skipper scales. Your fishy catch still flops about, gasping for water, but the hog puts a stop to that with her hefty cleaver. Head up the market and go north northeast and give this to my sis at the gate. The smell of hot dung ought to guide you to the spot. I can hardly contain myself. Well, go contain yourself at the hog farm before I lose my temper. She slaps a work slip down on the table. I shall take it. I am nervous that I'm just gonna get like stuck there <laughs> that it's gonna be like oh you're working for me great you can never leave <laughs> let's go <laughs> hello there my friend well, there, no one gets into the, your, our hog farm without a work slip. And if you want to work for us, you gotta fit the demographic. And what demographic is that? The kind that don't ask so many stupid questions. Now you got a work slip or not? Yeah, I do. You hand over the work slip of paper and... Oh, hand over the slip of paper and the hog squints at it with her piggy little eyes. Hmm. You don't look like you can fit a... You can lift a wheelbarrow, let alone last a good day's work. You're nothing but skin and bones. I've got the work slip, don't I? So let me in. Fine, fine. It's no bacon off my back if you find yourself face down in the mud after your old heart gives out. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, this place looks very gross. Stop s oh my god. Hi? This particular pig looks a bit green in the face, and the odors emanating from it are somehow even worse than the local bouquet. What's the matter with- <laughs> Hamlet! <laughs> That's a great name for a pig! <laughs> What's the matter with- What's the matter, Hamlet? Did you eat something that didn't agree with you? Some stomach medicine ought to sort you out. Oh, uh, what do you need? Digestive tablets, which I can make you. Nice. Flip, 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 flip. Go eat him. Oh boy. <laughs> Not the pickiest eater. The sick swine eagerly gobbles up the antacid you offer it. You hear a bubbling sound coming from the pig's stomach and decide it's best to avert your eyes from the horrors of the natural process. When you look back, the pig has fallen asleep in the mud, looking much happier with its state of being. You turn your attention to the aftermath and gawk at the obvious cause of the beast's indigestion. Oh, a large bone sticks out of the filth. Questionable bone. Great. Great. Uh, just what you want to find in a pigsty. Um, ooh, the slop trough is overflowing with filth, like something has clogged the, draining, the drainage hole. Oh, clogging the drainage hole. A thorough cleaning should dislodge the obstacle. Okay, so you need more... Purification water? Yes. Okay. Um... What's up, folks? This gaggle of workers appears to be squabbling over something. Hand it over! I saw it first! Fat chance you've already got those good legs wrapped while I'm still going barefoot. A good leg wraps while I'm still going barefoot. Give it here. You see the object of their contention. A dirty old boot. Ah, that must be my friend's forgotten piece of foot footwear. The workers ignore you and continue fighting over their pathetic prize. Elf shoes! Okay. Gotta get elf shoes and a growth potion. Which I can make right now. Nice. But we gotta go kill some elves. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the way the world is. Okay. 
Valley. Let's head back to town. Hmm. Um. Track down the rumpling. Five past the bank. That's right. Keep the heart. Shoes. Oh yeah, we can go and talk to the rest of the nobles. That's what the other thing was. Yes. Thank you. Whoop. And we want to go this way. We need to get this buck his rightful throne. Whew. Okay. This way. Oh no, not this way. Whoops. This way. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> Hold up. Oh, okay. This way. What's with all the dirt around here? Curious. Da -da -da. Oh, nobles, I'm here to make you spill your secrets. Hi, hi. What the fuck is up? A noblewoman snaps her fingers at you as you pass by. You there, freshen up this my wine. Nodding politely, you dip your syringe into her glass and squeeze out a good amount of purple liquid. She sips it with her nose held high in the air. There's a broken plaque in the hedge maze. What do you know about it? The plaque? It's the last time I help out the hag, I'll tell you that much. He was whining about a prophecy or some such nonsense. Told me to get rid of a piece of that plaque for him. I tore my finest winter muff trying to get to grips with the damnable thing, so I left it under the big tree in the middle of the hedge maze. You snap your fingers, and the noble woman makes a disappointed frown. She pulls up her collar in a huff and rejoins the party as if nothing had happened. Okay. The big tree. Oh, this big tree. Wedged under the tree's forking roots lies a jagged piece of stone. I shall take it. That looks like the last piece of the plaque. I'll have to reassemble them at the stat stag statue if I want to make sense of this. Let's go! You shall have your rightful throne. The nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secrets of this statue. Boom! You snap the broken chunks of marble back into place. Despite some marring on the surface, you can read the plot quite clearly. The Buck and the Stag, a tale of two princes, only one destined to be rightful the, rightful the heir and ruler. The king will be revealed by the touch of the truest crystal flower. It looks like the stag is trying to cut his dear brother out of his birthright. I wonder what's the business with this crystal flower. The Buck knows his way around a garden, perhaps he'll have some idea. <laughs> hey, you can be king! Flicking his ears, the young gardener puts his pruning shears down at your approach. Hello again. Lovely day for a walk in the hedge maze. Granted, you don't get lost. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about a crystal flower, would you? Crystal flowers? Why, they're very, very rare. It's said they only grow in a cave at the highest peak of the mountain. According to legend, the truth of one's heart is reflected in the faces of each frosted petal. Why do you ask? reason i just thought one might make a nice gift for your brother's big day hey you're right that's a brilliant idea 
better gift from the court gardener than a beautiful crystal flower? Oh, but the trek up the mountain is perilous. I don't know if I have what it takes. Nonsense! I was heading up that way anyways. You just stay close behind. Really? You'd help me? Well, all right. What are we waiting for, then? Meet me out by slopes and we'll get underway. <laughs> Hell yeah! We are gonna get you your crown back, my dude. But we're gonna do it in the next stream. <laughs> because this has been very, very fun. And I'm very glad with the progress we're making. But my throat is getting tired. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. I hope you have fun. I am interested to see where this all ends up. Um, but hey, I'm here for... I'm here for murderizing a landlord. I'm here for fucking up some of the more uh, capitalistic folk in this town. Hell yeah. Um, thank you for coming. Oh, I'm glad it was fun. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I will be on stream tomorrow morning with the Game Tavern folks um, with more lovely first night's action where we may or may not be throwing over the current... Uh, current senate and uh, the current you know jedi structure we'll find out turns out capitalism sucks y'all um as does colonialism um but yeah that'll be tomorrow morning if you want to come hang out for that it's super fun uh and if not i will be back this tuesday my wednesdays have gotten a bit busy so i will be back on tuesday for more hell yeah and fuck transphobia um, that absolutely sucks, too. Um, yes, I'll be back on Tuesday with more Witcher stuff. Where are we up to? Oh, we got the cabaret up and running. That's right. We did a whole bunch of stuff with Dandelion. It was pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's it for this evening. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Um, I will see you all next time. All the best with whatever else you're getting up to and have a lovely evening. Bye!